Hi guys, another video from me, um, Errol from Prestige Shoe Repairs, also known as City Hall, but Prestige Shoe Repairs from now on. Got a pair of cowboy boots, don't know what the, the name are, they're Ledo. but if you look at them, heels are all worn out, soles are worn out, toes on the other one, all gone. But these these have a rubber sole on it, so it's completely different. There's no leather on it, so they they want rubber again. So we're going for something different on these. We're going for the vibrant vibrant sole. We're tracking this in the middle. So basically, we've got to get that track sitting in the middle, and then we've got to stitch <coughs> the soles on, and then we've got a heel block to go on the top of it that matches that 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 sole. So we're going to be doing that today. <clears throat> All right. So let's see if we can get these heel blocks off. Plastic heel blocks, they do get quite difficult sometimes. Don't need those in the trash. <clears throat> so these ones were held from the inside with some nails. So I'm just going to snip those off to so see if I'm cutting my fingers while I'm doing some, the other stuff. And then I'm going to take the other one off. And then um, I'm going to go over to the machine and grind them off because as you know I don't like cutting them off it's just easier just to grind them so we're going to be doing that all right wanted to grind them off while you were watching the video instead of keep stopping and starting so if you all I do is just grind off the stitching around the sides and then they should just peel off like so so you'll be able to put them off of your hand nah not the greatest pair of boots. I'll show you the insides. Inside here we've got here, which is slightly curved. That's the shank, but it's a plastic shank in this one. So you can tell straight away that they're not going to be the it's not the greatest pair of boots. Foam lining, no cork. So and the plastic welts. I just realized that the welts are plastic they are Goodyear welts, but they're plastic welts, and they're not leather, so they're, st they're still stitched to the uppers. So we're going to have to get all the stitches out of those, grind them down, get them ready for uh, gluing to put the soles on. All right, that'll be in the next one. Okay, so this is end of part one, part two coming up soon.
let's get started part two uh, welcome back so put the soles on one of the boots I grooved it channeled it with the machine I've just stitched the, the sole on then we're gonna get the heel blocks that go with it which I've made them a mark where they're gonna go so I've, I've roughed that up so I'm gonna rough this up glue them all together like so now them finish them polish them done so I'm gonna go ahead now and glue this up and I have to nail them from the inside like they were before so a nice bit of glue got to let that dry so I said I've got to rough this up quickly The glue, because it's rubber to rubber and the glue's rubber, contact adhesive that I use, <clears throat> this is really it is enough to hold the, the heels on. Um, we put nails in it just as a precautionary measure because they've got the, you know, you don't have to put that many in, I'm just going to put a few in. But we need to nail it from the inside because it needs to attach to the actual boot. So that's going to go under my heater now for about five minutes to let the the glue cure and down to doing this one next. Okay, so all glued up, ready to go on. Alright. We have the sole. Now what we have to do and when I do it, I put the sole, the sole on the toe. Now, if you look, there's a little circle here. That helps you put this sole on. And there's a circle at the back. Okay? So, you put the circle right in the middle of the toe area. People, didn't, people don't realise that there's a circle on there. And it will help you. And you actually look down the shoe. And you make sure... The Vibrant logo is centre, right in the middle. And then you've got that circle at the end. Done. So if you, if you didn't know, that's why the circle was there. It's circle to circle. So right at the back, right at the front. And there's a lot of people that put the sole on, on the shoe down, draw around the old sole to get it in the middle and all that palaver. But when you've been doing it a few years like I have, you learn the tricks. And that is why there's a little circle on those, on these ones. Not all of them are gone. This is... And you'll find that, that that little circle is right where it should be, basically, in the middle of the shoe. I think it's used to push the soles out of the, uh, when they create them out of the moulds. But they're used to push them out. But... They push them out there in perfect condition. So just follow the, the circles. Circle to circle. Yeah, underneath. Okay. Just gonna, because these are plastic welts, just gonna crimp these together. I'm not going to do it on my five in one because it leaves it like a nasty indentation. Because once these are stitched, all the air will come out, all the air bubbles will come out. The plastic will blonde, uh, you know, bond correct, correctly, should I say? So a sharp knife, and again, you, people use the the five in one ranger to cut the soles off. No, I always do it by hand. Sharp knife, get as close as you can to the to the welt, but obviously not cutting through the welt. And this is the old school way of doing it. moment of truth is it in the middle I believe it is just got to go around the sides and then stitch it so this one's gonna get done now okay so I'll see you when I'm putting everything back together
Ta-da for now! <coughs> So what I just did there was a rough, I went round the rough band to get it near enough close to all the all the welt and everything. These are the fine finishing now that we're going to be doing and then painting all the stitching in and stuff. polishing section we get our ink brush and we ink the, the stitches basically I'm dyeing the stitching because see it's gone it's gone black now and on this on this edge bit here you can just see that there the wax is all the stitching in. Alright. all done see nice nicely polished I mean I'm gonna polish the boot by hand yeah but what I like to do is seal it with a little bit of spray to make it all look like shiny and new this will dry nicely so give it a nice effect yeah that will dry all right so that's one boot finished all right, not bad. I'm gonna polish the boots now and take a few pictures. 
Anyway, thanks very much. That's how I do my vibrant cowboy boots. Um, talk to you later. Remember, please like and share my posts. Please like and share my videos. Go on to YouTube and subscribe. It helps so much towards us, you know, making a living, you know. Um, it's just something we, like social media we need to do, all right. So I'm on Instagram as well, the dot prestige slash cobbler. Uh, or just follow me on Facebook, City Hall Shoe Repair Shop slash Prestige Shoe Repairs. Thanks very much. Happy holidays. Have a good Christmas. See you later. Bye-bye.